my name's Andrea Huffridge. Educator with Z1 Concept North America and also professional salon concepts in Illinois. And today I have my beautiful model, and some of you may know her, it's Sarah DeVore, color ambassador for Z1 Concept North America and also educator with professional salon concepts. Thanks for joining me, Sarah. Anytime. And thank you for joining us today. And we're going to talk about K-Respect Smoothing System. We'll go through some of the special benefits about it, what makes it a little bit different, and then also the treatment that we're going to do on Sarah's hair today. Behind the camera is my lovely daughter helping us out, Kaylee. Feel free to ask her your questions, type them in, and she'll ask those as we have time throughout the live today. So for anybody that is new to the treatment, please let us know, comment if you haven't used it before. And if you have used it before, give us a thumbs up, a heart, anything, and let us know how you love the treatment. So K-Respect smoothing tra treatment is our keratin system that we have. Um, it's right here in this beautiful package. And what we love about it is right in the name with K-Respect, it tells you what this treatment is doing. It's respecting the integrity of the hair by using high quality ingredients and also not doing any damage to the hair as we're doing the system. It's also respecting nature. We're respecting nature when we source our ingredients. We're using natural ingredients. We're reducing our impact on the environment and also with our packaging, as you can see, the packages will say that there's less plastic used in our treatments, in our packaging. And then we also have these fun reusable containers that each one of these items can go inside of a container. And then when your guest goes to repurchase the shampoo and the conditioner for retail at home, they just replace it inside of the container. We're also respecting our stylist and guest behind the chair as they get the treatment done because this is a safe treatment for them. We're using better ingredients, less risk of health inhalation from vapors from product, and it's just safe to have inside of the salon. Also, again, respecting their hair. And we're respecting the law by using by using products that are safe to use inside of the salon. And we also have certificates that can prove that. And we'll talk about that a little bit more as we go along. So let's talk about the ingredients that we have inside of our treatments and our products. So inside of K-Respect system here, many of you that are familiar with milkshake products, we have milk proteins, which are the base of our products. That's really going to give you a lot of strength and condition for the hair. We have sunflower oil acting as our antioxidant. That'll help give us some softness to the hair. Integrity 41, key ingredient that we have, and that's proprietary to us. That's an antioxidant as well. It helps protect from free radicals. And then we have fruit extracts inside, such as goji berries, strawberry, and papaya. These really help get inside and add shine and repair and condition to the hair. Another ingredient is our hydrolyzed keratin. This will help um, hydrate the hair, repair, and act as an anti-static agent. One ingredient that you're familiar with with our integrity system would be our Moomer Moomer Butter, and that helps waterproof the cuticle, helping keep the humidity out of the hair strand. And then two new ingredients um, that are inside this system are organic Baruti oil, and that will help protect it from heat. And also, as you're brushing through your hair, it helps with that too. It allows a little bit better combability and organic babasu oil that will reduce the breakage in the hair and it's very compatible with our natural hair fiber. So those are the main ingredients that are inside 
of this system here. And as you can see, we have our prepping shampoo. And this is what you'll start your system with. You'll go through, prep the hair, it will open up the cuticle and allow us to get our treatment inside. We have our treatment itself, which this, we'll talk about in just a minute, can do four amazing different treatments. And then we have our smoothing shampoo and conditioner that you can use behind the bar, but also take home for your guests. Comes in the smaller size and also the larger size, which is wonderful. And then we have the K-Respect maintainer, smoothing maintainer mist. This is a great treatment that you can use alone for a service or help your guests maintain their treatment at home and help, help it last longer. So as we've talked about the different treatments that are available with our K-Respect treatment here, you can do an intensive smoothing treatment. By changing a few things, you can make it more of an anti-frizz. We can perfect curls, or also regenerate and give, our, give a little bit of life back to hair that maybe has too much fullness, but they want to keep their natural hair um, shape and curl, and maybe just add a little repair back to that. We have done a few videos on these already, and you can look up on YouTube, check out some of the other videos that we've done. Also check out on Facebook Live. We'll continue to do different treatments too. So today, we're gonna to talk about our intense smoothing system. This, I feel, is one of the treatments that most people tend to go for, but also maybe stylists only think of a treatment that way. As we know, every guest is an individual in our chair and they may need different, different needs behind the chair for their hair, something to help them maintain and manage their hair at home. That's why it's wonderful that we have the four different treatments. So really think of each guest that you have inside the chair and how, how that treatment can help them. But for Sarah, what do you want when it comes to a smoothing system? Why are you choosing a smoothing system for your hair? Um, I do have a natural curl pattern, and um, but it's very uneven. So I really am looking for the smoothing system to really take down the frizz that comes off of that. Um, in the crown of my head it is, pretty tight curly as well as very frizzy. So it's hard for me to get that smooth. I do typically wear my hair smooth instead of curly so that I can get more days without shampooing. <laughs> um, so I like the smoothing treatment because it just really helps me to be able to manage my hair texture um, a little easier as well as like blow drying quicker and things like that. So I wanna be as smooth as possible. I mean, I guess sometimes I do wear it curly, but I'm okay if my curl is um, a little looser and maybe not as tight, but to bake it, I want it to be the easiest it could be to wear it straight. So many of you may have met Sarah before and know that she has a lot of hair. And I think a lot of our guests that are looking for a smoothing treatment, they are wanting exactly what Sarah is wanting to have done. If you can see here in the back, this is where her texture is different, and this is probably her, your most stubborn spot, wouldn't you say, Sarah? Yes. The hardest that you have to smooth. Go ahead and turn for me. All right. Thanks. No, you're fine. So what we did today is we went ahead and pre-did Sarah's hair this morning, and I'm going to show you how I smooth it after the treatment's been completely done, show you how easily it smooths. But Sarah, when we dried your hair today, how much quicker was your blow dry? Oh, almost half, half the amount of time. Okay, and the reason why I went ahead and I did her hair this morning, Sarah is already lightened, and I wanted to make sure that we didn't overprocess her hair, take too long doing that, plus with her being blonde, 
you can't really see the treatment, how it's applied as well on camera. So we have a, a beautiful second model here and she will go through and we'll show the whole process on her hair and then come back and finish Sarah's hair. So that way you can see from start to finish how the treatment goes. But before we get ready to do that, I wanna tell you one of the main things that really makes our system different is that with the certificates that we talked about earlier, we have no formaldehyde detected. And many smoothing systems have formaldehyde in them, which makes it very unhealthy for us when we're doing the system repeatedly behind the chair. And it's also unhealthy for your guest. So when you are using the flat iron on the hair strand with the system inside of it, you release a vapor that has the formaldehyde inside of that, and that's a health hazard for your guest. It's an irritant for your lungs and your skin, and it's just not something that you wanna have all the time. So we have actually changed our ingredient and we have glycolic acid inside of our treatment. And the glycolic acid is an organic acid that is used in many things. This allows us to smooth the hair, have long lasting results with our smoothing treatment, but we don't have the risk to health and inhalation of vapors and products that may irritate us. And we're also not breaking the bonds in the hair. So when you use this system, instead of breaking the bonds and making that hair completely smooth and straight, by using the glycolic acid with heat and the repeated mechanical action on your flat iron, it's gonna actually shift the bonds into the position that we want them to be in making the hair healthier, shinier, and in better condition, which is what we want for our guests. We also want our guests to be able to have smooth hair when they want to have smooth hair. But if Sarah wanted to have her hair curly, she could go ahead and do that, and it would just be a better, more perfected curl. And that's one of the reasons why we love this system. Yeah? We already have a question. Someone okay. wants to know if we can do a gloss on the same day as the treatment. So when it comes to color, and any kind of a treatment that you're doing on the hair, you wanna allow your color to be done at least a week prior, two weeks prior if you can. That way the, the color has time to set into the hair. Then you can do the treatment or you could color afterwards. You just don't wanna open up that cuticle to put this treatment in because then your color will run out or on the flip side, if you do it right after, you're opening up the cuticle for color and then you're not gonna have the best benefits of the treatment. You said you could do the color after, so does that about mean a week. Okay. About, about a week after. And that includes glosses, correct? Glosses and everything, but what's fun that we have within Milkshake, our company, we have different ways that you could refresh your color by using direct color, and you can do this afterwards because it's temporary. It's not something that's gonna open up that cuticle, and it's just gonna refresh your color. And you can do that right at the bowl to give them a little refresh. You can also send them home with one of our colored whipped creams. This will refresh their hair at home until they can get their color service done. And if you have a little issue with roots, we also have our SOS roots. We'll give them a nice refresh on their outgrowth. So there's ways to treat the color without opening up that cuticle and maybe fading a color that you just freshly did or adjusting your treatment in any way by adding color right after. So definitely wait at least a week before or a week after the treatment for best results. I hope that helps answer the question. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and show this treatment and how we're applying it on the mannequin head, and then we'll finish with Sarah's hair. All right, so I know we talked about 
the four treatments that we have to offer. Today we're gonna to do the Intense Smooth, and I went ahead and put that on a sheet for you. If you just wanna grab a screenshot, you can do that. But this way, it helps kind of guide you through how we're doing our treatment. So what I've done is I've cleansed my beautiful model here with our prepping shampoo, and then I've sectioned her. I wanna put it in four quadrants, and then, um, I like to start in the back because we have the most hair in the back. And then we've taken her 90% dry. She's actually dried a little bit more while we've been talking. When we're talking about 90% dry with the hair strand, you definitely want to take into consideration the porosity of your guest's hair and how fast you work and move. You want to make sure that the moisture level throughout each strand of hair maintains the same moisture level. So I'm actually going to spritz her just a little bit since she dried on me. And this is what her hair looks like right after the first prepping shampoo. And I'm going to show you on the mannequin, this is the exact same mannequin. This is what her hair looked like before. Thanks. Okay, so in Sarah's hair, she, since she is pre-lightened, I wanna make sure that I maintain integrity of her hair when I do this treatment. And so what I did is we just added our Integrity A Rebuilder from our Reconstructing Treatment. And I sprayed that throughout her hair, and I'm just gonna show you again, or show you since you didn't see it the first time. I sprayed that in her hair to help give me just an added layer of protection and to help rebuild her hair. What kind of comb are you using? I was just going to get <laughs> I knew you would ask me that. So what makes each treatment different is your choice of comb, your choice of section, and how long you're processing your treatment. So for the intense smoothing, I'm going to want to take smaller sections, no more than a half of an inch section. And if I really want intense smoothing, I might even drop that down to closer to a quarter of an inch or in between that. And I'm using one of my Z1 Concept combs and the finer side of the comb. The finer the tooth, the better the smoothing that you're gonna have from your treatment. If you're choosing to wanna leave a little bit more volume in the hair, maybe not take it as straight, you can switch your comb choice to something that's a little bit wider and this will be perfect for, um, like if you're doing the perfect curls or the regenerating service, you can even use a wider tooth comb. And these are all Z1 Concept combs. They're heat protected, good for heat protection, and they won't melt on you or anything. Okay. So we want to come through and take a small section. Lightly clip up her hair. Okay. Sarah went ahead and put some of our product inside the bowl for us. Great Z1 Concept Bowl for the K-Respect treatment and this brush here that we have. Before 
I put the treatment in the bowl. I like to take the packaging and kind of knead it a little bit. This allows the product to mix inside the packaging, just making sure that everything is mixed really well and no ingredients have settled or anything. So we want to work with a very clean brush. And I would say on an average client, you're using about 50 grams of product on Sarah's hair. We use around 60, 65 grams, depending on her length, but she has a little bit more hair than the average client that's in your chair and it's a little longer. So when we apply this, we're gonna to wanna to stay a quarter of an inch away from the scalp. And I kind of just apply it lightly in each section of the hair, mid shaft, at the, towards the root, mid shaft and end. Then I'm gonna grab what's remaining on my product brush here and pull it down. So that way I'm dispersing it evenly throughout the hair strand. And then I'll just make sure that I comb that through. To make sure you're protecting their neck very well. You can drop an easy strip down. This won't um, lay against the mannequin head very well right now because I don't have a lot of product on her hair, but this is what I would do if you're doing your client in the chair. And then we'll drop our next section down. On average, about how many clients can you get with one pouch? So inside one pouch, if you're doing about 50 grams, you could get five treatments out of it. So then we'll come through and we'll do the same thing. Up at the root, mid shaft and ends, and we're gonna pull that through and drop it down. But what I wanna show you is, you shouldn't have any product left on your comb. So as we pull this through, there should be very, very minimal product. And I knew on that last one, I probably had a little too much so I have some left on my comb. And I want to, this is gonna happen. So I'm gonna wipe that off. I mean, we're all human. Sometimes you grab a little bit more than you want. So if that does happen to you behind the chair, during your service, drop a little bit of hair. And you can blend that together. and disperse that a little bit more evenly. You don't want to have too much product on the hair because when you hit the heat on it, it will allow a little bit more vapor to come out. Plus, you just, you don't need to overuse the product at all. You don't want to oversaturate the hair too much. What's the shelf life? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so on the back of the packaging, Right here, once it's opened, it says 18 months. All Z1 Concept products have that on the back of their yeah. packaging if you, don't, if you don't know that. So all your hairsprays and everything have a shelf life um, indicated on the back. I just didn't know that off the top of my head. I didn't either. <laughs> Andrew, how do you know if you, don't, if you have enough product on the hair? So you're going to be able to see it on, on the um, hair strand. It kind of makes it almost a, like shiny, like you put a little bit of maybe argan oil or something on the hair. That's kind of like what it looks like. It just adds a little shine to the hair. It shouldn't be very weighed down. And sometimes you can even see like the curl pattern coming back into the hair. Um, that's something you're definitely going to see if you do the perfect curls, how it brings the curl texture back in. And I can show you what we did on one of those too. Um, so I dropped a very thin section so I can marry that together since I had too much product. I'm going to drop this down and then blend that all together. So we'll see here once I comb it through if Kaylee can zoom in and you can kind of 
See how it just gives it a little bit of shine? But it's not weighed down and heavy with too much product buildup on it. As you can see there. So with this treatment or this service, we're gonna to wanna to keep going through and going through our section, dropping each one down, no more than one half of an inch, and applying our product. Once your product has been applied and you're completely done, it processes for 30 minutes. Now we also wanna think in that 30 minute time frame, what is the condition of the client's hair before you started? If their hair is maybe has a little damage or it's color treated, we're only going to leave that in maybe 20 minutes instead. On Sarah's hair, we left it 20 minutes. And when you are completely done with your processing time, we will go through and dry it with a flat brush. Um, Sarah, could you grab me a flat brush? I'd love to. We did Sarah's hair on the floor, so I left my flat brush there. Um, so I'm gonna keep going through my sections until I'm done. Maria asked, how long does it stay to process? I don't know if you wanna to touch back on that again too. Um, so again, depending on which treatment you're doing, they all have a little bit of a different processing time. For the one that we're doing today, and I'm focusing on today, that's gonna process for 30 minutes on regular hair. Again, if there's some damage in the hair, or maybe it's been color treated and lightened like Sarah's hair, you're gonna to wanna to drop that processing time. So, I also wanna talk about doing a treatment on lightened hair. You're not gonna to wanna to do a treatment on freshly lightened hair. Allow that hair to have some time before you do the treatment. But also, you're not gonna to wanna to do it on very, very, very light platinum hair. Sarah's hair, I know the condition of her hair. She only gets highlights done on the roots. She doesn't get it done very often. And her hair's in good condition. She takes care of that. All right. So is anybody new to the system? Or have you used it before? We had someone who was new earlier. Well, welcome. I hope you learn a little bit today and Again, like I said earlier, Miss Cindy Porter is new. Hi, Cindy. Um, if you're new to Z1 Concept and our products, or maybe just new to this system altogether, please check out the YouTube page for Z1 Concept North America and also our Facebook Lives. There's um, a posting that has even the lives that are coming up in the future or our classes that we have on Tuesdays webinars, which are nice. Kaylee, was there another question? When you're booking clients about how long does this take start to finish? So it will depend on how fast you work and the amount of hair that your guest has. Some of us work a little bit faster when we're familiar with it. Um, Sarah, it's about what, three? Three hours. Three hours on Sarah's hair. Mm -hmm. For somebody that has finer, thinner hair like myself, what well, you could probably get mine done in like an hour and a half, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if that. <laughs> She's <laughs> laughing because she knows I have no hair. Um, so it will depend on which service you're doing, too. Um, like the regenerating service will not take you as long because the processing time isn't as long, and you're not going through and doing that second flat iron on it. So I'm just going to do this one little section here and finish that up. We have another question from Christina. Okay. Now, would you recommend a less intense treatment on heavily, heavily lightened hair? 
So there's different ways, and this is one thing that I love. You can customize this treatment however you need for your guest. So you can prepare the hair maybe a couple weeks beforehand by using the integrity system, start rebuilding the hair to get it in better shape, allow time for it to be, you know, since it's been pre-lightened. Mm -hmm. But you can also choose maybe to do the regenerating service, which is going to add one of our conditioning milk uh, packets inside of it, milk mask packets, and that will regenerate the hair and it'll kind of give them the, uh, like a baby step towards the system. Um, and repair the hair before you do a full system, which is nice. Uh, give them some of the benefit, some of the uh, benefits of it without taking it to the full step of being extremely smooth. Another thing that you can do for your guests, if maybe their hair isn't ready for a treatment yet, it hasn't, um, maybe you wanna help rebuild it, or if you have a guest that's curious about smoothing but not ready to commit to the intense smoothing treatment, you could start with the regenerating or they could take home the intense smoothing shampoo and conditioner and then they can use the keratin um, smoothing maintaining mist on their hair at home that will last about four to five shampoos it will allow them to smooth their hair a little bit quicker blow dry it quicker and give some of the benefits of a smoothing system without committing to the full system itself this kind of goes along with our other question yeah. um can we take a look at that pre-treatment product you use before you apply the preparing shampoo or the we're looking for we talking about the prepping preparing shampoo we're looking for the pre-treatment product before you this apply. one yes okay so this is integrity a or integrity part a the spray leave-in and this is a rebuilder and it's part of our system here and it's just the first part and I'm just, you would spray that in and help rebuild the hair strand beforehand. Kind of just gives you that little insurance protection layer for the hair. I mean, Andrew, when you say that my hair is pretty heavily highlighted though, yeah. uh, but I think it's that you know like that I'm using good products that take care of the hair, like my ends aren't see-through, but I would, I would classify my hair as heavily highlighted. Yes. And I still feel like the treatment does nothing but add benefit to my hair, not do any kind of damage or do anything that I would be concerned about it. Not at all. Yeah. I think it's in incredible shape. And I don't feel uncomfortable doing the system in her hair because I've we've been doing her hair for a while and I know what's been done to it. So I feel comfortable. I just didn't want people to discourage from doing oh, yeah. a heavily highlighted hair. Okay. Well, thanks for adding that. And I just ripped my glove because of my name. <laughs> so, we're going to grab another one really quick. Okay, so what I want to do before we put Sarah back in the chair is we're going to dry this and we're going to pretend that it's processed for the 30 minutes. Just for Facebook Live, we don't have enough time to go through the full system right now. What temperature are you using on the flat iron? So, you can have different temperatures depending on the hair, uh, the quality of the hair. So if you have very damaged hair, you're going to want to do 335 degrees Fahrenheit up to 370 degrees. If you have a little bit of damage to the hair, and also think, not necessarily damaged, but how thick the hair strand is too. Finer hair can't take heat as much as a thicker, coarser strand can. And so if it's slightly damaged, you can go 335 degrees Fahrenheit up to 390. And then if their hair's natural, hasn't had any chemical treatments or anything done to it, very good condition, you could go up to 445 if you need to. I've never really had to go up that high. I think on Sarah's hair, we were around the 390 range. Mm -hmm. So, thanks. 
You can use a flat paddle brush. Um, I have a nine row brush here, and then there's a bent brush too. I tend to use a paddle brush for my nine row. So you're gonna wanna go through and make sure that you're drying the hair. And even a little bit of tension on that too to smooth it down. And this starts our process. Andrea, we have a question. It says, I asked that G, the G's the one, that someone had asked the temperature of the flat iron. She asked because GHD, you don't control the temperature. It's at 375. So what do you recommend? Well, if, see, I have a multi-range um, flat iron. And I kind of just use that flat iron for my treatment. Sarah, I know you have one that doesn't alter. I have a GHD too. I love okay. the, my GHD. Um, I've used the GHD for years. Um, but I use um, the a Paul Mitchell iron when I do a treatment because it changes, because I can control the temperature. Um, I don't remember which one it is. You would know better than I do. But is it the Neuro? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna wanna go through, maybe if your flat iron just has the one temperature level, if somebody else in your salon has one that you can borrow, I know. Um, mine has been borrowed before. Also, maybe faster passes, or I mean, I mean more passes, or like you know, to make sure a little bit faster at your speed when you're going through, so that the hair is not touching the heated plate as often. And if ever you have a question about um, something technical, too. You can always reach out to our technical hotline. Uh, Dolly Hernandez is a wizard behind the technical hotline, and she can answer any question for you. I don't have the number memorized, but I believe it's posted on. Yeah, it's on the website. Yeah, or at least the Facebook page. So I went ahead and I dried my hair, and you want to make sure that that's 100% dry. Now what we're going to come through and do is get our comb. Now, after you've consulted with your client, you can choose how thick maybe you're going to do the, um, do your sections. The finer your section, the smoother you're going to be able to get that. So if your guest wants it really smooth, like Sarah does, we go through with finer sections. I don't want to clip this too tight. I'm just going to kind of softly put that up there. And then, Kaylee, I want to make sure we have good light here. So You're good. Let me turn. So we're at about a half of an inch section. You can go up max to one inch section. When going through and using your flat iron, you want to do either seven times at a medium speed, or if you're somebody that goes really fast with your iron, do at least 15 passes with that. I tend to go more at a medium speed. Now you may notice a little bit of vapor coming off or uh, steam, 
you're going to have that when you're doing this on the intense smoothing because you're leaving that product in there. Anytime you touch a flat iron or curling iron or anything to hair that has product on it, you may have a little release and that's okay. Kaylee, you have never been around this treatment before. What do you think of the fragrance? Does it seem to have a any kind of a odor or is it like pleasant? I don't smell anything to be honest. I'm not too close to it, but from a couple feet away, I don't smell anything. I know you've been stuck around when I've done perms and whatnot, yeah. and it's not on that level. No, so. not at all. The okay. other product smelled lovely though. So you want to maintain the same uh, direction every time your pass goes. So you want to keep this a little bit closer to the head, drop it and maintain that in natural fall as much as possible and do that on every single section that you drop. If your client maybe wants to have a little bit more fullness at the root, you could change your direction slightly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do one more pass so you can see how that is in the hair. I wanna show you what it looks like. And then I'll, I usually go through and kind of marry them together. Sometimes two. So Kaylee, mm -hmm. if you want to show what the hair looks like there. It's not weighed down with product. It's smooth. You can see the shine in it. So this is with the product um, flat ironed into the hair. What we would do when your section is, your whole head is completely done. You allow it to cure. For a couple of minutes, you're going to go back to the shampoo bowl lightly shampoo them with the K Respect shampoo and conditioner. Come back and then proceed to style them as they would want it to be styled. Most of the time with the intense smoothing, I come back through, give a flat um, brush blow dry, follow with a flat iron again so they can wear it nice and smooth. And then I'll lightly spritz it with our incredible oil just to give it a little bit more flexibility and shine. And we're gonna set her aside for right now, and we're gonna bring Sarah back in. How long does this treatment last? So, with the intense smoothing treatment, depending on your starting level with the hair, how it, the condition of it, and how they maintain it at home, how often they shampoo, you can expect three to five months. Come over. Give me the cake right there. So we're going to go through, and this is after our shampoo process. Sarah has done the one side herself at home, or not at home, while you were watching me do this other process. I guess the salon feels like home, right? Yeah. Or here enough. <laughs> I know. Okay, so what I'm going to do mainly for this, is focus on this back section of her hair. And I'm gonna show you how this helps smooth and flat iron back here. Sorry, sir. No, you're fine. This side was air dried. So this is after the treatment, air dried. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. We're gonna drop a fine section of her hair. So this would be after you have gone through, done this whole process, shampooed her, brought her back to the chair, and you're finishing her before she's done for the day. So the, the question came up of how long does this last in the hair? And I kind of want to touch on that a little bit 
you want to make sure that your client doesn't shampoo for at least 48 hours after the treatment. And if they can, 72 hours is wonderful. You're not going to want to put clips in the hair, um, sunglasses, anything like that. You want to keep the kink from any kind of a styling, uh, not styling, but ponytail holder or uh, what else do you put? Clips. Clips, bandanas. Yeah. You just don't want to create a crease. Can you tell who doesn't put their hair up a lot? Me. Headbands, anything like that. So look at how smooth her hair is. Let's turn you a little bit, Sarah, for late. And then tilt forward for me. Can you see how much shine and smoothness that she has in her hair? And this isn't with the aid of any type of styling products. Can you read that out? Yeah, so Roxanne said that she did this treatment a week ago and it smelled like sulfur when it got wet and when her hair got hot. So you have to think, when you first, like this treatment is the intense treatment. So we are actually opening up the cuticle of the hair strand, putting a treatment inside their hair strand, and then sealing it with heat. So it's gonna stay in the hair. A little bit. Sarah, the reason why I love that Sarah is here is because this is now her third treatment. So Sarah, when you've had this in your hair, how many shampoos do you think it was it about two shampoos you said before? Well, the first time we did it, it was more, but I believe that after thinking about it and talking about it, we really overused the product on our That's first application. So I would say the first time we did it, it was like five shampoos. Um, the second time we did it, it was like, okay, so when we shampoo at the bowl, I could smell the product a little bit. And then my first shampoo at home, it was, I could smell it, but it was very faint. And by the second shampoo, I could not smell it anymore. Um, I don't think it smells like sulfur though. I would, um, it so, smells I mean, like the like product. Sulfur kind of smells like rotten eggs, right? I mean, yeah. I yeah. feel like it's like that. I would feel like it's more, uh, more of a, uh, like yeah, like baked, baked. I would say, like if I'm in the sun too long, <laughs> kind of. But um, I don't think for me it has never smelled like sulfur. But I can't smell it. I, I mean, honestly, I can't smell it. I would say the first time we did your hair, we did overuse product. Mm. And since we've been doing them, you, we don't have that as intense of a result yeah, now that we've, after shampoo. Yeah, now that we've learned how to use it more accurately. Yes. Cass agree. They said so they used way too much product, well, more product than they needed the first time. Um, but Sophia also asked to understand after you've left it in for half an hour, then you blow dry it and then go back and shampoo and blow dry. So with the intense smoothing, you're going to go back in and shampoo and then blow dry and flat iron it again because you don't want to they're not just going to have the flexibility and the shine in their hair by having that treatment left in there and you really want to give them a finished result that they're going to keep for a few days too so it's a nice way to get that product out of the hair and give it the second finish yeah so two blow dry flat irons in the essence yeah. Andrea, so I like to work out in the morning, so can I not work out for three days? You can definitely work out, but okay. what I would do is if you have, if you get sweaty or anything like that, come back through, dry your root down if you need to, bump it with a flat iron, but keep it as smooth as you can for those first three days. Sarah, how long do you usually go between your shampoos? Hmm. Seven to ten days. Okay. So her, Sarah does go a little longer than some um, people. I wish I could go that long, but I just cannot. Um, so her treatment lasts a little bit longer. And 
on average, I would say I'm doing my guests at around the five month, four month range, don't you think, Sarah? Yeah. Depending on how much they're shampooing. My clients that have to shampoo like every day or every other day I are closer to the beginning of that four month point. More people that go like three to five days in between um, are closer to that five month point. So, Kaylee, you said you had a question? Oh, yeah, I've got a couple questions here. So, just to clarify again, um, after 72 hours, should your client wash and dry and then flat iron their own hair as well? Well, if they want to come in and have a service done, we love to have them come <laughs> back in. But that would be a service for them where we could shampoo it and flat iron it and all that. Again, it would be a paid service. But they can feel free to go ahead and shampoo whenever they're ready. I usually say 72 hours because we know clients always shampoo quicker than what they need to. So if you tell them 48, they might shampoo it in 30 hours. So I wanna give them the max time. And then just to clarify, the shampoo we wanna use with this is part of that K-Respect yes. line, correct? So the K-Respect smoothing shampoo and conditioner is going to help maintain your style for longer, the treatment for longer. It's basically an insurance policy for your treatment. And if you are spending the time getting the service done and you're spending the time uh, as a stylist too, you want that to last as long as possible for your client. And using the products that go along with it is just gonna reinforce what you've done. Kaylee? Um, Roxanne said thank you. She does think she overused the product a little bit. Um, so she said thanks for your help. They said that. So Roxanne, anytime you take your flat comb across the product, if you have anything left in your comb, you're using too much. So like I said earlier, maybe drop another section if you feel like you have some left over on the comb and kind of blend that together so you can disperse the product better. I would say usually overuse the product is one of the biggest culprits of an issue. Uh, Maria wants to know if you can use dry shampoo. Yes, you can use dry shampoo. Sarah loves dry shampoo. <laughs> um, definitely you can use that. I would wait though before I put anything in the hair until after that 72 hour range. Um, as we finish this, and I'm just gonna go through this section so you can see the end. So Sarah does use the shampoo and conditioner at home, but she has become what, a big lover of the maintainer mist. And Sarah, will you share how the maintainer mist helps your hair with the system and what it does for you? Um, I definitely think it adds longevity to the, uh, to the length of the treatment staying in my hair. Um, I use it about once every five shampoos, um, once we have put the treatment in. However, I do that just to maintain it, but when I find them, when I see the biggest difference in it, Andrea, is like when this treatment is coming out and my hair has become harder to dry in that crown section like we talked about earlier, I can spray that in the hair and I am able to get my hair smooth um, with that in there in the blow dryer. Um, I really don't like to flat iron my hair. I just like to give myself a blow out and, and go. So um, by using the maintainer mist, I'm able to blow dry and have my hair be smooth enough and straight enough to not have to flat iron it afterwards. Yes. So two things. Sharon says, Sarah, your hair is so long now. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. This and is COVID. COVID did this to me. <laughs> and then I believe it's Condied. I'm not sure it's Candy. I know she said she has some French to her name. Um, but she said you can also include the shampoo and conditioner in their service to make sure they use it. Yes, so definitely consult with your rep and think about your market. Some salons do include the product as their take home and they include it in their pricing. Whatever works well for you, go ahead and do that to make your service extend better. We, um, we tend to do ours after and just take them to the 
retail area, we grab the products that they need for their service, and then they take them home. Then, and sometimes it also depends on what size product they do. If they're using the smaller ones, they may have to come back and grab another one in between their service time. And some of our guests like to go ahead with the larger size and they take that home. Sarah, will you lean down so we can? Of course. So look at how smooth we were able to get our hair. One thing that I notice, Sarah, is your volume of your hair. How do you think that this adjusts how much hair, or the, it definitely decreases the volume of it. Like, I don't want to say that, like, it's not that I don't have body at this at the root. I still have body, but I don't have, like, the puffiness um, in the volume in the hair strip, like, down the mid-shaft. What I'm going to do is, we've already finished this side of Sarah's hair, and I know we're getting close to the end of our live. So I just want to do this last little section so you can see the full finish. You can come on the side, Kaylee. Or sort of here. Hang on. Let me turn her this way so the light. You can see how much shine she has in her lighter pieces here. So what I would do is just finish with our flat iron. And then at the very end, you can go through and spritz softly. I have a new box here. Oh, here, actually, I have a little one. Sharon, it says it looks beautifully collapsed. Still lots of hair, but not poofy. It's my favorite part. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish with our incredible oil. And this will just give me another layer of sealing to the hair, a little bit of shine, and protection from the elements. Look how nice and soft that comes through. If I did Sarah's whole head today, we would have you here for a little, little while longer. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of our finish. You can see this is where her, it gets kind of poofy at the root. And look at how nice and smooth that is now for her finish. This makes it a lot easier for her to style her hair. Right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So then I just want to kind of quickly show you, too, on a mannequin. We talked about some of the other treatments. This is how the hair looked before. This is with the perfect curls in it and the intense smoothing. And this is just with the anti-frizz. And this is air dried for the perfect curl, which is nice. So you can kind of just see how that air dries right there. It gives a little bit more shine to the hair, kind of wraps around and makes the curl formation a little tighter and stronger and reduces the frizz and volume to the hair. Do we have any other questions before we're getting ready to be finished? I'm gonna show this sheet again. That way anyone yeah. can take a screenshot if they want. And then here are those certificates. So one last thing, um, go through and again, double check YouTube page, double check our Facebook lives, and you can go in and check and see the other treatments on there as well, where they've gone into more detail on those treatments. When you're ready, you can go to our website at milkshakeusa.com and actually take the K-Respect certificate um, right online there and you'll get a certificate for having done the treatment um, and then we'll post before and afters too because I definitely took a before of Sarah's hair and then an after and we could even go through Sarah I'm sure and find a photo of what it looks like a couple months into your system yes and show that as well absolutely all right any other questions before we're done for the day
Well, thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your Monday.